Assalamu alaikum. You know, Dr. King said, love is the only cement that can hold this broken community together. And when I am commanded to love, I am commanded to restore community, to resist injustice, and to meet the needs of my brothers and sisters. Now, we know that we've got some difficult days ahead. There's a lot going on in this country. But we have survived these dark days before. I literally stand here because of the boldness and the bravery of an enslaved African woman who even during her dark days saw me in her future and because of that, I'm standing here today. So the question, the question is who do we see in the future? And what is the work that we are prepared to do in our present that will create a future for generations not yet born? So I invite us all to think about how we are coming together across our differences, whether we are Muslims or Christians or Jews or Buddhists or people of no faith. How are we coming together to tear down the walls of suspicion, the walls of indifference, the walls of hatred? And yes, we need to pull down some literal walls like that wall on the southern border of this country. We need to pull down the walls that have our brother Rodney Reed facing the execution in Texas right now. And yes, we need to pull down the walls that are taking away liberation for our Palestinian loved ones in the region that they're in right now. So let us make some steps forward because what many of us have learned, and Brother Sean will talk about it, I'm sure, that whether it was us going to jail in Ferguson or shutting the freeways down here in the Bay Area, Courage under fire happens because we're willing to step out when it's not convenient. And so let us continue to increase the world of belonging. And as our dear teacher, Minister Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. God bless you. Allahu Akbar. <laughs>